province of Quebec is the first Canadian province to have a full international relationships office in Italy. We have the pleasure of speaking with Mariana Simeone, delegate for the government of Quebec in Italy. Welcome. Hello, Antonio. Very nice to see you again. I can only imagine what an honor being appointed as a delegate to Italy for you as an Italian Canadian. Indeed, an honor and a privilege. You know, my parents came over in the 50s to Montreal, to Quebec, to Canada for a better life, for a better future, for their family. Who would have ever dreamed that one day in the future I'd come back to Italy to share here in the country that is really my roots, the opportunities that Quebec can offer. So it really is a privilege. Mariana, tell us something more about the relationships within Quebec and Italy. Well, you know, Antonio, they date back to 1965. That's when Quebec opened its office in Milan, Italy. It was the fourth office. You know, it's quite remarkable. Quebec has an international network of offices abroad. We are in 18 countries. We have 33 representational offices in every continent. We're in Asia, in the Americas, in Africa, and of course, right here in Europe. So what started as an office that was mainly mandated to stimulate you know, inter international economic relations has grown into something really wonderful. We really enjoy um, a relationship with Italy in all spheres of activity, be it in culture, be it in education, in research and innovation, in business. So it's not simply a, a business office. We are here because we want to make a positive contribution. We're here because we want to create opportunities. We want to engage young people. We want to build connections. We want to engender trust. And that's what we do a little bit everywhere around the world. And I have the privilege of doing that in Italy. And, you know, we have lots in common, you know, very well, Antonio, you know, with our two societies very much in common. We have the same visions, the same values. But we've also discovered that if we work together, maybe we can attain our goals more quickly and maybe we can fight those, you know, global challenges that are so difficult. Take, for example, climate change. You know, Quebec is at the forefront in North America. And so that's what we do here. We build relationships, we establish contacts. Let me give you an example. Just last week, for example, I spoke to 165 graduating students, graduate students, of five universities from Northern Italy. And we spoke to them of the opportunities that Quebec can offer in research and in innovation. A couple of weeks ago, we had also a webinar destined to graduating high school students to speak to them about the opportunities of studying abroad. So th this is the type of relationship that we're cultivating here. It's, it's really interesting, actually. It is. Uh, Mariana, what are you working on right now? <laughs> well, the first, first duty was to, um, as soon as, you know, the, the economy shut down here and everything shut down was to, uh, to rejig our operations. So we, everyone's working from home, set up new management, set up new operations. So what are we working on? We want to be ready for the relaunch. We want to be ready once the economy starts taking off again here in Italy and back home, we want to be able to have opportunities for our businesses. And so we've prepared um, certain areas of expertise where we have ready opportunities for our companies here. We can point out to what's going on. For example, um, in Europe in general, you know, there's going to, there are going to be enormous amounts of money spent in the transition towards a more digital economy, the transition towards a more green economy. So, you know, we have those expertise back home. So we're hoping to be able to identify opportunities for our companies. Another very important file for us is the Olympic Games of 2026. That may look far away, but it really isn't. You know, it takes a lot of years to prepare for Olympic Games in terms of installations, in terms of preparing the program, in terms even of putting together the shows. You know, remember Torino in 2006? Well, of the course opening, I do. yeah, the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony, those were prepared by none other than the Cirque du Soleil. So we want to be able to offer even our creative industries some opportunities here. So we're working on a myriad of, of opportunities. We work very closely with the universities. We as actually created a position within our delegation, which looks after strictly uh, research and innovation and moving those forward. You know, we've got more than 100 agreements between our universities and the universities here, here in Italy, because we believe that projects that are so enormous, like take this health crisis, for example, well, you need more input from different angles. And in fact, my ministry, the Ministry of International Relations and of Francophonie, 
has been supporting financially for the past 30 years now, has been supporting professors and uh, graduate students in their research projects. We help them with the mobility. So we help them come to Quebec and we help Quebecers come to Italy. We do that also with our young graduates. We send them all over the world to study. See, Quebec has always had a vision on the world and it's always understood that, you know, maybe we can play a role. We can bring some of our expertise, our vision, our sensitivities, our culture, of course, you know, exports in terms of culture, very important in Italy. Would you believe that every year there are close to 200 artists that come to Italy to produce, to, to put on shows in whatever fields? We have authors coming in, we have dancers, dances, contemporary dance, very, very famous here, Quebec contemporary dance. We have theater and our artists appreciate the sensitivity that you know the Italian market brings and the fact that you can work in Italy well that advances your career you know it's it's part of of career of the building of the career of an artist so those are the areas that we're involved with they're all very exciting it has been a challenge lately i have to admit it has been a challenge because you know with the with the, the mobility that is just not possible it, it's difficult but we're overcoming we've found new ways to work look now i get to speak to you here on zoom we're using these, you know, the new technologies very, very much. Mariana, what's special about uh, the Italian Canadian community in Montreal? Oh wow, everything special about it. It has well, Antonio. You know, it's still it's still kept its its ties with Italy, very close ties in every sense. I sometimes look at the numbers, even just when uh, uh, there, are, there are the elections or other activities that are going on here that are that are of interest back home. Well, Italians in Montreal really participate. They're very organized. They have their committees. Uh, they travel extensively to Italy, but they have family and roots here. Many of them come study here. You know, much to my dismay, I was, I was very surprised to see how many young Quebecers were in Italy just when the lockdown came, you know, happened in the month of March. We gave them a hand to help them coordinate their, their trips back home. Mariana, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with everything. Oh, thank you so much, Antonio. Thank you for the visit. Hope to see you soon and I wish you all the best for the holidays.